Uh, Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. What are you doing to us? Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. We're going to talk about Bitcoin. We'll talk a little bit about the crypto market. What's happening? Why is Bitcoin acting like it's acting and not like everybody wants and you know pumping it up don't you know but wait, wait, wait we can't sing it just yet <laughs> let's get bitcoin past 100,000 first and then we can sing the pump it up song a little bit like you know the first verse <laughs> bitcoin is doing something and gold is doing something else and they should be doing it harmonically together right to the to the upside but that's not happening I think I know what might be the reason because last time we saw a Bitcoin dip, this was also going on, so it could be related. Many people are, are saying, oh, the crypto market is dropping because of the Iran-Israel situation, which uh, I'm, uh, you know, a part of. <laughs> and, I, you know, I'm not freaking out too much. Not yet. Last time was basically a nothing burger. We'll see what happens this time. But, you know, I'm ready. I got my water, right? My water bottles. I'm ready. I got my canned foods. <laughs> I got my bomb shelter, right? You, you got you to gotta be ready. But um, it's, it's an interesting situation. We'll talk about all of it. All I ask is that you give me a beautiful smile. Smash the like button for Bitcoin. Maybe it helps. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Uh, and uh, let's get into it. So currently the price of Bitcoin is at 64434 uh, uh, So under 65000 It stopped here. You can see at this uh, resistance zone. It's not, a, it's not a stone resistant here for Bitcoin. But it jumped off of it. You can see right here, right here, and right here. So we're seeing that this is a, a zone of resistance here for Bitcoin. You know, you could put, uh, you know, one of those squares here and say this is a, a zone of resistance. Uh, that's a possibility. Um, so, so we're seeing it bounce off of this zone. I think if it, if it breaks through, right, if it, you know, breaks under that zone, we could see Bitcoin dropping all the way down to 59,000. Which again wouldn't surprise me uh, if that happened, but right, I like big butts and I cannot lie, <laughs> right? Like like Sir the Sir mix a lot says famously in his song, um, the stochastic full is at the bottom, so it's getting very close both on the regular and the RSI one, um, and so that doesn't mean that we're going to see a bounce here, right? It could still dipping like it went to the top and it kept rising, right? But this does tell us that a lot of pressure has been released here for Bitcoin. Uh, and if we look at the, you know, the jet, the, the dominance, the dominance is going up, right? And 60 dominance would be very, very important here for Bitcoin, right? We haven't seen 60 dominance in a long time, right? And so are we creeping up to that, right? Uh, we'd have to zoom out. Uh, what did I do here? Technical difficulty time. We haven't seen 60 dominance since 2021. And you can see it's creeping, it's creeping, it's creeping, it's creeping up and up and up and up, right? But it hasn't hit that yet for, for, for Bitcoin. I think we'll, if we see it, it will be, I think, towards September, October. And that's when we're going to see Bitcoin screeching towards 100, the 100,000 range. Um, it's going to be interesting to see a lot of things can change. A lot of things can happen. And if we go back to the beginning of the month, we were in in a bad sitch, right? In a bad situation here for Bitcoin, um, with with the July for fourth, third, fourth um, drop off to fifty three thousand, right? So you know, month over month, uh, actually Bitcoin finished in flat. If I if I can see this correctly, yeah, a little bit up, right? Um, so right, if we do, can we do the monthly one month, right? It's uh, it finished a little bit down actually. No, wait a second. This is the new month, I think. Right? Yeah, this is August. So we finished a little bit up on the month. Um, Ju July is usually a good month for Bitcoin. Yeah, two and a half percent up. So in the end, after all this and all of this wick and all of the turmoil, Bitcoin was up 2.5%. It felt like the end of the world, right, during the, the month. 
Uh, we dropped all the way down, and then it came back up. And then we were like, yay, 70,000! Oh, wait a second, that was for like for one minute. <laughs> and then it came back down. And, uh, you know, we have these memes here, right? We're back <laughs> to the to the McDonald's, um, McDonald's meme here. <laughs> um, and, and another one is uh, Bitcoin. Technical analysis trader, right? All the gear and, uh, you know, the, and uh, people who get, who buy and forget, right? Um, so actually, she won the gold medal and set a world record. And he won silver medal, right? So, you know, both are good. Both are good, right? Uh, but he's like with his hand in his pocket and no gear, right? And he won silver medal. And she's like, you know, with the gear and she's very focused. But she did break a world record. So, you know... The saying that technical analysis can be very, very good, but also this is also good and it's a lot less effort, <laughs> right? So, uh, you know, that's just it's it's a great meme because it's it, you know, it's even if you don't know the context, because I saw both of these uh people, right, uh, athletes, um, and I heard I read their stories, so I know the context. Uh, so it's even better of a, of a meme when you know the context of each each of one of them, right? There's going to be some wild action here in the next coming days. We saw a lot of orders at 300 million get filled down at these levels. There's an additional 300 million in orders put below the price now, supposedly to try to drive it up. Interesting action, right? Uh, we'll see if Bitcoin is able to recover here. You know, the rest of the crypto market, lots of red, you know, meme coins getting hit. Um, you know, things that go up big will go down big and bitcoin is you know pretty flat from utc time so on the daily candle um but you can see others are dropping two three four percent here uh, and bitcoin is holding strong and the choppy price action of bitcoin since march with a bearish bias is causing out bitcoin pairs to bleed this is playing out similar to 2019 back then bitcoin also trended down for a while and after gold broke out which happened in march this year as well um you can see that Bitcoin found a mid-cycle top in 2019 when gold broke out. Bitcoin then trended down for a while before going back up after rate cuts and quantitative uh, um, QE. Quantitative, uh, oh, I forgot what, what, what's the E. Uh, <laughs> um, it's, it's okay. English is my second language, so give me a pass if I don't remember everything. Um, you should argue similar things are playing out now. And what's interesting is that gold futures have hit 2,500 for the first time ever in history in overnight trading. And people are like, because of possible war breaking out? And yes, maybe. But you know, Bitcoin is supposed to be parallel to gold, right, sister? Bitcoin is the digital gold, right? So why royally F is Bitcoin and crypto acting the opposite, right? When you have warning intelligence indicators from Iran, are they will launch hundreds of ballistic missiles and drones to Israel larger than the strike in April. Iran, Hezbollah, Iraqi militias in, in, in Yemen and likely want to saturate air defense in blah, blah, blah for, for Hamas. Uh, U.S. forces from Roosevelt and WASP battle go up and make direct combat with Iran. If it goes poorly, be warned, right? And this is creating, you know, a little bit of a scare, scared here, right? I don't think that's the reason why, right? In the short term, because... In April 13th, we saw and Bitcoin, you know, dropped and a lot of altcoins and a lot of mu coins dropped, you know, like Pepe dropped like almost 40% on that day. It was very weird. It's maybe like, you know, big whales were saying, and we'll get to that in just a second, where I think whales are manipulating um, what's happening. And, you know, let's get this straight. In the past week, Trump speaks at uh, Bitcoin conference, conference, promises a strategic reserve. Harris is reaching out to crypto industries to reset. Ethereum ETF launched, and we had our first positive day, although yesterday was a negative day. Fed confirms September pivot. Well, not 100%, but okay. Goldman CEO predicts Bitcoin to rival gold. SEC drops the security designations on numerous altcoins, and we're still going down this week. <laughs> so it's all, you know, it's a weird situation. Um, this is how it is sometimes. It doesn't make sense, but sometimes it's just technical. Uh, sometimes it's news. Sometimes it's uh, we'll get to in, in, if you if you hold on and you you watch the video to the end, you'll see what I think is really going on. Um, and that's I have a saying that I think that you know eighty nine percent of trading of investing in crypto is mental, right? Because 
things like this happen and you're like, I don't understand why is this, I just, I don't understand, right? And you freak out and it goes down 7% and you sell and then it goes up 20% and then you buy and then it goes down 15% and you sell. <laughs> That's the cycle of an inexperienced investor, right? 11% I think is technical analysis, know about, knowing the news, knowing what's going on, right? Um, and that helps. And 1% is luck. You know, sometimes you get into a trade and the next day, for some reason, it pops 20% and you're a genius, right? And it's luck, right? But I think it's mostly mental because all this <coughs> choppiness here is mental, okay? Um, so we'll see how this plays out. Now, part of the correction could be um, the CME futures chart, potentially, there was a gap up here from 58 to 60,000. We've seen Bitcoin close these gaps recently, uh, not recently, but in history, right, of Bitcoin. So this could be a possibility of this also happening, right, on the futures, uh, which we have that gap here, right, on the daily chart. So this could be something, you know, there's not a lot of gaps, but the fact that we do have a gap here could be the reason why, and it could be closing towards that. Hopefully it doesn't, right? There's not a lot of gaps on the daily chart you can see here. So this is very interesting that the market wants to close this uh, gap here. We see it usually on the shorter time frames, the four hour, you can see it closed here. Uh, this gap uh, is the gap that we're talking about, but sometimes there's shorter gaps and you can see that closed. Um, so it doesn't happen every single time, but it happens, right? Uh, there's a gap here and eventually it dipped under. Right. So uh, it will be interesting to see if that is the reason why. Right. Um, but it feels like whales are doing the moving. Right. It doesn't feel like retail is freaking out too much. Right. Uh, according to Quant founder Ki Yung Ju, crypto whales are getting ready to buy altcoins, actually. He knows that a large buy orders and multiple altcoins include Cardano, Polygon, Cosmos. However, the buy orders do not seem to be a large for other altcoins, suggesting altcoin season isn't here yet. And it feels like it. Well, you know, we're not there yet. But it feels like there's also manipulation going on. Okay? So sometimes it's summer, it's August. Sometimes it, it's just, you know, good to sit back, relax, and go with the flow, right? Go with the market and see what happens and not freak out too much. And yes, we did have another uh, negative day yesterday for for the Ethereum ETFs. But it's, it's it, Miles, I like this... Uh, this from Miles. He says, notice how the markets always top on good news and bottom on bad news. R um, record Bitcoin ETF flows top in June. Trump speech top July. FOMC fears plus poor ETF flows bottom in May. And Mt. Gox German selling bottom in July. Well, it's actually, well, you know, there was a selling into it, but it finished here. So that was, you know, <laughs> that was the bottom. Um, but it kind of feels like that recently that, you know, good news is the top. And, and then the bottom is like when there's lots of fear, that's the, that's the bottom. And it makes sense because there's the big dogs are probably manipulating us and saying us, oh, oh, we're going to create a lot of fear, 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 fear. And then they start buying. And then, oh, good news, good news. Okay, now it's time to start shorting, right? This is one of the oldest tricks in the books. It's a trick that has been done since 1914 on the stock market floor in, in New York where uh, the, 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 the short sellers would go around and they would tell people stories in their ears and they would do the opposite of what, what, what the rumor was. Uh, and since then, this tactic has been played out. Today, of course, it's on a different, totally different scale, um, but it's still happening. Uh, and so it's important to remember that sometimes you're not going to understand what's happening, uh, but, but it, it, it's, it's uh, and you see here, it's coming up a little bit. We'll see how it ends here today. Now, hopefully nothing crazy happens, but you have to be ready for this, by the way, right? Not this. Where is it? Uh, <laughs> where was it? Here. We have to be ready for this. I got to be ready, you know, on my part <laughs> with my readiness not to die. <laughs> but you got to be ready for your readiness um, on the crypto market, okay? Um, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens here. And look, listen. This could be the real reason that is happening. We're seeing the J Japanese markets falling today. Japan stocks are on track for its worst day since the Rona hit four years ago. Stocks are tanking in a very heavy volume. Now, we know that the Japanese are very avid crypto traders and crypto investors, and this could be creating a fear. A few days ago, um, and by the way, the crypto fear dropped down as well. We're now in neutral, so that's also happening. But a few days ago, when Bitcoin pulled back, 
there was some shenan when we when we had this sell off. There was some shenanigans happening with uh, the Japanese yen, and the uh, we saw a drop in the in, Jap in the in the Nike, which is the Japanese stock market as well, and this is happening again as we drop into this. So this is very similar action. This is very similar what happened here, um, and so that's a very interesting. So is the Japanese is someone big in Japan, right? Big in Japan, na na. <laughs> um manipulating the crypto market and and you know saving money or you know trying to save assets uh, and by doing that by selling off their bitcoin in in a significant way and bringing down the whole crypto market with it so that's interesting and that could be another reason why the crypto market is selling off it's more similar to what's happening here to saying well war right because when war is happening we should see the crypto market going up we should see money flowing into crypto flowing into bitcoin like we're seeing gold hitting a high where Bitcoin, you know, is not at a high, but close to a high. So and, and selling off for the past three days. So it's going to be interesting to see where the crypto market goes from here. And I'll continue to update you on what's happening. If you're interested, check out the links in the description down below to our partners. See if anything interests you. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Of course, not financial advice. And you should always do your own due diligence. Before you decide to invest, knock on wood, nothing crazy happens. Too crazy. Something's going to happen, but nothing too crazy. Uh, and we'll all be okay. So, okay. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.